In the last video, I discussed in detail about how to select your on-demand business vertical. Today, as promised, I'm here to tell you how to write your on-demand business plan. So let's begin. Let's begin with an example. If you ask a successful captain or say a coach, how could you win these many number of games? Apart from all the intricacies involved, they'll tell you one simple thing that they have a unique plan for every game they play. So now when you've decided to write a business plan and you are ready to get started, congratulations. You have just increased the chances of your venture to succeed. My name is Anurag. Before diving in, let me amplify why is it important and what all to include in your business plan. It involves writing crucial aspects of your on-demand business plan like brand messaging, pricing strategies, and a lot more details of the elements to be included. Writing a business plan is important because it provides a holistic view of your business idea. Also, it helps with communicating your needs, legitimizing your business idea, giving your business idea foundation for success, making it easy to sell your business, and obtaining investments also. Apart from these, it gives you much needed confidence for the new venture when you have a business plan in place. Writing a business plan allows you to carefully think through every step of starting your on-demand business and handle the challenges. If this is not convincing enough, let me tell you how creating a business plan will help you. Help you discover your strengths and weaknesses, manage startup capital accordingly, convince potential partners, customers and the key employees, market analysis and competition to strengthen your idea and determine target audience and how to reach them. Let's have a look at the outline of the business plan. There are many things that a business plan must contain. Executive summary, company overview, market analysis, products and services that are gonna offer, marketing plan, logistics and operations plan, and financial plan. We've also provided a sample business plan to get you started with. Reach the link below to download it. Now let's discuss in detail the outline of the business plan. Number one is executive summary. It should contain the overview of the entire business plan. The executive summary is more than just an outline of the business plan. Okay, we can agree upon this thing that the audience for your business plan are often the busy executives and investors. So the executive summary might be the only part that they read. So here come the essential elements that your executive summary should contain. What does your on-demand business do? That's what your business idea. It contains what services you provide as a business. What is the product or the services? It contains the product description. What do you plan to sell? The target audience. Next is how do you reach your target market? It contains the marketing plan. Your marketing plan is an essential part of a business plan. It contains how you want to communicate with your target audience. Your marketing plan is just not the list of things you want to achieve, but the list of measurable outcomes. Other elements like branding plan, customer acquisition plan, content marketing plan, etc. This all can be included in your marketing plan. What is your revenue model and projections? This is a part of the financial plan. Who is involved? This is the team. What does your business want to do? This is contained in the business goals. Your business goals establish where you want to reach in a specific timeline. The next element in writing your business plan is company overview. It's a short element of your business plan like the executive summary. It includes your background as a company, your mission statement, the management team, legal structure, etc. This typically is a short section of a business plan, you know, but gives you an opportunity to introduce yourself and your business. Now let's talk about the details of the company. First is the business type. Define exactly what type of business you are. Next comes the industry segment. Which segment of the on-demand industry you belong to? For example, are you in the ride healing services or do you build your product in transport and logistics segments or say food delivery solution for that matter? Next is the nature of your business, your vision, mission and values. Next is business objectives. Both your short term and long term objectives have to be mentioned. And lastly, your team. Just remember to keep it very clear and concise. Before we you know, head further, I want you to check these pages. The link for all these pages is given in the description below. The company profile page of Starbucks, the company page of Puma, Nestle, 
I suggested to visit these pages because I believe this might give you the required inspiration when you're writing your business plan. The next element comes up while writing the business plan is about market analysis. Market analysis is a qualitative and quantitative evaluation of the current on-demand market conditions. I suggest you visit the first video to get all over insights of the on-demand industry. The link is right in the description. It helps you learn the strength and value of the market, potential customer, segments and buying patterns, your competition and the overall economic environment. So the elements that the analysis of market can contain are overview of the industry, size of the market, trends, the growth rate, pricing and the market profitability, target market and the competition. The next section of products and services is intended for the readers who will be actually using your services. It thus becomes very essential to create a convincing case in this for the product and the services that are going to offer. Describe the features, cost estimation of the services. Features, briefly explain the built-in feature of your product. That would create an overall understanding of your providings. Technology, pricing, customer care. When we talk about pricing, how much you will charge for the product or the services you're gonna offer. Also mention how it fits in the current availability and emphasize how you stand out. Product comparison. This is about comparing similar product that exists in the market and advocating how you are a better option for the users. Tell what needs you are fulfilling and what problem you are solving. Also explain the sales and distribution strategy, how you intend to sell your product and services to the users or in the market. The next element of the business plan comes up is the marketing plan. We all hear you know, and know about the four marketing P's, namely price, product, promotion and place. Strategy for the marketing plan may vary according to the nature of the services you provide, but there's a common goal to attract and build relationships with the customer. So let's delve in a bit more into the elements of the marketing plan. Plan out your marketing tactics. Planning your tactics is determined by the consumer habits and sales strategy. Timeline and budget. Create a timeline of events and set a budget to reach your audience. Include promotion events, pay the ads, etc. Also keep in mind that your initial marketing plan is not set in stone. As your business evolves, so will your marketing timelines and budgets. Positioning, target market, strategy, these are the few more things. And when we talk about positioning, Create the perception of your services in the market that you have envisioned. Develop a clear communication of, of how you want to be perceived in the market. Now comes up the next element in writing your business plan. It's logistics and operations plan. This part includes the workflows that you'll implement to start your on-demand business. It includes the service providers, equipment, technology, logistics partners, shipping and fulfillments. When we talk about the technology, it's about the tools and technology that you'll use to keep your business running. When we talk about logistic partners, identify who'll handle the logistics or shipping processes and the inventory management. Where and how will you manage your inventory? How will you ship it to your partners if required? And how will you keep the track of the inventory? Financial plan. It is crucial for moving beyond the worldly aspirations into hard data. With a financial plan, you can forecast your business, future finances, budget for expenses, get financing from investors and grow your business. When you write the financial section of your business plan, the information that you'll gather will depend upon if you have some historical data from your existing business or you're just starting off as a new business. Either of the ways, this section should contain the details of business expenses, financial predictions, profit and loss cash flows, and their statements, sales and forecast, business ratio, and break-even analysis. For you, we have also provided a sample business plan for an on-demand food business. You can download that business plan from the link below. Before we end this lesson, I want to talk about the benefits of having a business plan at hand. It increases clarity. It gives a structured roadmap it supports in funding, it, it has a defined timelines, it gives you a strategic focus. Above all, a business plan at hand forces you to be accountable when, you're, when you are about to run a business. 
Your business plan is a living, breathing document that helps you work toward a predetermined objective. While it's also flexible for correcting your course during those times when things, you know, can won't go as planned. So I hope with the sample business plan provided below and from the inputs that I've discussed here, you'll be able to write your business plan for the on-demand vertical that you have selected. Till then, take care. Goodbye.